They don't. They don't even know what hit them. They'll be in there 13 years, come out, finally see the outside world, and bang, they're gone. So it's a pretty crazy relationship, but that eating away at the heartwood of the tree, it weakens the integrity of some of the branches. And you can see this huge one behind you guys. That came down from up there. You can see, you can really see the damage it does over time, eating away at that wood, and then the water can get in and it rots it and weakens that branch. But um, so it dropped this branch not last New Year, but the one before. So it's been here almost two years, right where it is. But you can actually see it's it's producing new shoots, it's producing new leaves. It was flowering up until a few days ago as well. So it isn't dead, it's thriving right where it is, this yeah. branch. So it's pretty amazing, but it can actually now just lay down a, um, some new roots and make a whole new branch, uh, make a whole new tree out of it. Hmm. So in a way, it's kind of a clone as well. It's not like a seed where the yeah. DNA has changed. Yeah. It is the exact same DNA as the, as the tree there. So in a way, those moths, they can kill the tree, but they can help it to live on as well. So it's taking a step now, and it can grow a new tree. And they call it a walking tree, because over hundreds and hundreds of years, it can walk through the forest really slowly. Huh. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing one. And if you guys have seen the movie Avatar, the, the home tree is based oh, yeah. on the... Um, yeah, it's based oh, really? on the Purity tree. Oh. Exactly. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh.